Hey there guys, this is Wes Nature 88 here and I'm back in with an episode of Fishing Planet. Yes guys, Fishing Planet now. And today's mission, or on today's episode, we are going to go for, believe it or not, the uh, fin, Pike Finn's Law. So obviously we're going to go to Lesnar Villa. Now as you can see I have done a few. Uh, I did try to do a bit of a combo, unfortunately my internet completely crashed so I'm having to start again. Uh, unfortunately I can't undo the ones I've already caught. So we will try go there and get some more course and I'll track that one. So for my setup, I have obviously my spinning setup, uh, which is my elemental with the uh, Callisto MG. I've got a six pound test. I've put on a seven pound titanium leader because obviously we're after pike. And I put a casting spinner on. Now you can use a few other different things. You can use um, spinners. Obviously that one's a bit too heavy or break. And a couple of others on one. Let us just check the fish on one. And we'll go down to the pike. So these are obviously castings, spinner baits, shads, crack baits, poppers, jerk baits, and minnows. Obviously, you can use small minnows and shiners. So, obviously, for my other rods, I've got my feeder rod. Obviously, with a titanium leader. So, I'll be using small minnows and obviously my floats. Rod setup, same as all my other episodes, guys, and our titanium leader with minnows. Now, just to let you know, I'm using a one up hook on my float and on my feeder. So, we'll travel to Liz Villa. Obviously, the Christmas event is still going on at a minute. Now, as you know, with the description here, this huge perch is relentlessly devouring all pike it can bite its teeth into it so pike will be a bit harder to get until you've caught this fish um, so we are going to be going to either a few locations so you can fish around here for pike you can fish around here for pike and a couple of other spots mostly where these lilies are I usually fish around here sometimes but I have fished more up around here for the pike and I've caught them so it's basically up to you guys where you want to go uh, I'm going to try and catch a few of them and hope for the best. And obviously, it's best idea to look at what the weather conditions are like because sometimes that can slightly affect it. So luckily we're in a good enough one, which should be fine. So we're going to go and get ourselves landed and set up, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully without any problems. <laughs> oh dear, yes, of course, the packs. Right, so obviously I'm going to go over, you know what? I'm going to go over to this location instead. Because it shouldn't be too bad. You know what? I'm going to go into this corner here for once. And fish outwards. This may work. This may not. So, obviously, I've got my minnows. I'm going to throw it about there-ish, which will then go down, and I'll set it in. I'll then get my float out. Now, obviously, you can change the height. I've got about 50, so I'm going to change that to 40 at the minute. Actually, you know what? 30. Why not? We'll put it a bit more higher. I'm going to put it a little bit closer to the lily pads over there, just in case. And we'll get our spin rod out and we'll see exactly which one will catch the fish the quickest and the easiest. And obviously I threw that a bit too far out. So I'm going to try and get about, about there. I threw it way too far out when I cast it then. And hopefully get this pike in. Now I've known stop and go to work pretty well for me. I haven't known anything else to work. You could always do twitching if you want. Um, you could just do a straight or slow straight. 
I just basically just read them. If you just add a few twitches, it'll start twitching it. Okay, that's definitely still on my feeder. Oh, that's a small enough northern pike, hopefully. Yes, that is. Good. That's one. Whew. Right. <coughs> so we need number two. Come on. See, I hate it when it does this to me. It just goes completely and utterly dead. I'm like, <laughs> it's bad when it does this. Right. Now, you guys might have a better chance of getting the no other pack than what I am at the minute. And the game just doesn't seem to like me today. It just doesn't. Saying that, you get that with real life fishing, guys. One day you can get as much as you want. Other days, not a single thing. And for some reason, I'm not catching them as well as what I like to. I've caught them, as you guys can tell. But unfortunately, they're just not really wanting to bite for me at the minute. So, they are being finicky. They are being a pain for me. Now you can fish from this spot. Name down that way. And you know, try and hopefully get something in. Whether it's a spinner or with feeder or a max rod or float rod. But today I'm going to go I'm going to go over this side. Aim for about there. Hopefully get it near these lily pads over here. You know what? I'm gonna aim for around about back there. Aim for this one about there. And then hopefully get them from this thing over around here. I'm hoping. Not going to guarantee. Oh, jeez. Come on, no one back. Oh, dear. They just... They really do want to be a pain with me today, guys. I do swear. Usually it never takes me this long to try and get fish I'm after. Especially when it comes to... Northern Pike in this place. Usually pretty quick getting them in, but for some reason today, they just don't want to know. Now, I will reset you if I have to. Oh, hold on. That's my feeder going off. And that seems more like a perch. Oh no, it might be a northern pike. But we're coming in as this easy. I want to say it is a perch. Oh no. That's my float rod going off. And that's a green goby. Okay. I caught a Christmas fish on a minnow. <laughs> okay. I wasn't even fishing. There we go. There's hopefully the pike I need. Yes, there we go, guys. That was that's northern pike that we needed to get ourselves the pike fins spoon. Jeez, that took a bit of time. Yay! Finally. Don't care about that. So as you guys can tell, that has taken me quite a while. What do I mean, quite a while? I mean quite a while to get that one done. So, obviously, in the next episode, we will be back to do the Perch Body Monster. Anyway, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed today's episode. Fine, I know it took a bit of time just to get them to Northern Pike. Um, hopefully, you guys don't have as bad as a chance to get them as I do. Like I say, I was fishing from here into this spot around here. The pike seemed to have been about in a, bit, a little bit more than obviously over here. Obviously, I fished into this spot over here. Like I say, try and fish into these area even around here 
or even around there can be all right. For me, I'm just having a lot of bad luck trying to get these Northern Pike. Hopefully, guys, you'll have a lot better chance. Like I say, using small minnows give you a great option. You might get perched, but you should hopefully get more than Northern Pike a bit easier. Um, if you do have to use a spin rod, fine, I shouldn't have brought a casting spoon. I would, I should have brought a spinner bait instead, but if anyone's ahead was my nanos, uh, which are fine. Um, again, using stuff like poppers, jerk baits, minnows, which you can have as a lure, uh, crank baits, you know, them free. I'm not sure about the minnows, I think you have to be a lot higher level. But if you can get any of them free, you know, cranks, poppers, or jerk baits, you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, spinner baits, absolutely fine as well. Just be a bit careful, they can be a bit finicky. Um, but I would recommend when you're fishing for the Northern Pike is to make sure you have titanium leaders on just in case, guys, because Northern Pike, same for a few other fish, will just bite through your line, uh, especially when they're a predator type as well. They'll just literally bite through your line mostly. You might have it where you can get the fish a few times, but I always prefer to be safe than sorry. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped you guys out for a few spots and obviously what I've done to be able to fish for them. You may have seen me do uh, what was it? I think it was. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Lesson Exploration 2. That should hopefully help you on where I caught my Northern Pike. I'm pretty sure it's the same location which I've just been. So, just in case, you can always check that video and it should help you to see where else I may have fished for the Northern Pike. Anyway, hopefully, like I said, that helped. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I will be back with some more. And like I said, the next episode will be to do with the body monster, perch body monster for Les Nivella. So hopefully, guys, you're ready for that. So don't forget to bring your rods to the lake and we'll go catch this thing. Bye for now, guys.